Oh, we got a fish. Oh, that's a good one. What do we got? gentlemen Connor your YouTube fisherman back with another video and we are definitely taking the all town sportsman autopilot 120 out I can't wait this is gonna be my second trip and today I picked the Port Canaveral I'm just gonna troll up and down use some live shrimp to catch me some croakers and with the croakers I'm gonna use my live bait for redfish or snook hopefully so I got my number four circle hook ready to go split shot live bait is gonna be on there I got my Shimano 4000 and of course I do have my new reel I'm excited to use the Sahara, Shimano Sahara 5000. And let's see how that works. So I'm gonna use the Voodoo. That's a Voodoo mullet. A lot of action on the tail, on the body. Let's see how it does today. And we're gonna try the Voodoo shrimp as well. So we're all going Voodoo today. <laughs> and that's paired with the Battle 2 4000. So let's see what happens, guys. Got the Old Town Sportsman Autopilot 120, powered by Minkota, Spotlight technology. Here it is. That thing is a beast, guys. You could check my first video. That was my maiden voyage. I'm going to go ahead and put it for you guys here. You could check it out. It was an incredible journey. I mean, so many things that I learned. It's amazing and I'm still learning. I'm still trying new things. You know, I got my cell block right there with the swim blade. That's the transducer. And these are all coming from Travel Country Outfitters. Yes, they're incredible. They're local in Orlando. Oh yes man, of course, gotta have the flag. Yeah, that's it. But uh, Travel Country Outfitters, they're in Orlando. They're excellent. They're your outdoor travel, anything related. You could go check them out. I got my kayak from them. I got all my accessories from them. And these are the, that's a yak attack right there. That's my other uh, camera mount. I got the salt block from them. It's all in one operation. I got my fish finder transducer with the swing blade. That's the box, batteries inside, all in one. You could take it out, put it in the truck. That's it when you're done. And the transducer goes up and down, in and out. That's it guys. Very easy, very nice. So go ahead and check them out. If you guys need a kayak, anything outdoor related, Travel Country Outfitters. I put their link on the description below. You have all the information. Their website, www.travelcountry.com. Go ahead and check them out. But without a further ado, I'm going out as well with my All Town Sportsman Autopilot 120. Let's see how we do. See you guys out there. All right, guys, just like that. We're out in the water. <laughs> using my foot pedals to control left to left right to right we're on a speed of eight right now going 3.5 miles an hour i'm just gonna troll the voodoo mallet there we go because i see a lot of activity there bait fish all the way down fish this is 46 feet right in the middle of the canal full moon that's the jetty right there let me go all the way to the corner all right 
that should be good make sure our drag is nice not too tight we're back here here we go let's troll a little wow guys i had a huge bite oh my god what was that Let's lower the speed. Wow, that was crazy, guys. That was insane. Oh, what was that? Oh my god, on a voodoo mullet? That thing screamed. Wow. All right, guys, we're trolling. I had to come back inland towards the bridge by the river outside by the port unreal seaweeds i mean you wouldn't believe how much seaweeds out there it got stuck on my motor propeller i had to take it out clean it up every two minutes so i said no way there's absolutely no way you could ride on like that so i came inlet it's pretty clean here so i'm trolling the wooden mullet right now i'm at 41 feet and going through the canal i just want to show you guys also i'm using a, a rebel batteries for my uh, old town autopilot 120 they do have an integrated uh, app to check the battery because it's bluetooth capable so with the bluetooth it founds it there you go automatically tells you how fast you're going what's your percentage right now i have 66 uh, amp hours left the voltage they takes temperature of the battery so everything is right there in front of you I hope you guys can see it excellent tool guys so I would highly recommend rebel batteries I got the 100 amp hours lithium and it's a beast so and you can always monitor it while you're on the water which is a huge plus you don't have to buy a monitoring tool or gauge or anything like that so just want to let you know i have their information description below you could check it out i also have everything that i use in my kayak on the description below i have lots of amazon links you guys can take a look at it take advantage of it i do use them all the time and you know i get a little bit commission to pay for my bait hopefully so i appreciate if you guys check it out down below and that's it i love this kayak man no pedaling you just relax i'm using my foot pedals like i said left right right because i put the big rudder out i deployed it so it's easy i only use the remote for the speed if some reason you guys lose this hope not you can always use the phone application as well you have to have the phone application downloaded Minkota, Minkota, and then you have to be on the water motor has to be powered on in order to pair it obviously it has to be bluetooth so connection and that's it once you have that you'll have it on your cell phone as well so that's like a backup for you but so far i'm loving it man second trip it's not really about fishing since i just got this kayak again thank you to travel country outfitters they're incredible hook me up um since i have it i just want to play with it see what it does what's capable of i'm gonna push it to the limits i'm gonna go speed 10 right now i'm trolling so i love it you know if you guys have any questions please let me know comment below i'll be glad to answer to you but let's keep going oh we got a fish oh that's a good one what do we got oh yes oh, 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 oh. look at that ship set guys <laughs> yes baby i knew they were gonna be here <laughs> that's a slob man dude i want to go into this canal i'm telling you work the pilings and here it is oh my god it's a beast i love it man look at this 
Make sure I don't need the nest. Let me put back the nest. Oh, guys, this is crazy. I was gonna go out there for snook redfish by the port. Too much, too much seaweed. I said, you know what? Let me go in. I could get mangrove snappers, black drum, ship set, and here it is, guys. Wow, incredible. Let's measure this beast ball. <laughs> this is so cool, man. Oh, man, I love it. I love it. Hold up. Let's put this here. Let's reel this in. And I know there's snook and redfish here too. A lot of bait jumping all around. So, and I'm sure they wanna go right around the river. They wanna go in and out. But <laughs> here it is, guys. Here it is. Oh man. Let's get our bogo stick. I don't wanna lose this big boy. <laughs> Ah, slob guys, slob. Wow. Right on the side of the mouth. Nice hook set. Here we go. Number one circle hook, split shot. Easy. Easy peasy. Let's measure. Get our ox trot. Wow. Hey guys, this is so cool. Alright, let's put it here. Actually, yeah, that's supposed to be right there for Old Town spot. It fits perfect, yep. That's exactly for the ox trot. You can lay it there. There's a little groove there, a little groove there. And it fits right in there. Perfect, look at that. Wow, man. Little things, guys. Little things really comes handy. But let's measure this bad boy. We have 15 and a quarter. Yep, 15 and a quarter. Nice slob ship set. <laughs> Guys, this is so cool, man. Let's start this one. Here it is, guys. 15 and a quarter inch ship set. <clears throat> right there by the canal. I knew they were down there, black drum, ship set, and we got a nice one. <laughs> I love it. I love it, guys. <laughs> yes, yes, baby. <laughs> right, guys, after that nice big ship set, I got a bunch of mangrove snappers, but not keepers. I'm actually made my way all the way to the mouth of the port. Jet is there. North Jetty over there by the rocks. I want to show you when the water is rough, open water, how it gets, how it handles. Right now we're at speed of seven, going 3.4 miles an hour. Taking the chop pretty well. There's some swells. You could tell right there. And the motor shakes a little bit. I think that's normal. I don't know, you guys let me know, comment below. And the water comes around the bottom of the motor where it sucks in when you lock it in. But I think that's pretty normal. But comment below, let me know if you have the same thing going on with yours, especially when it's chopped uh, water like that, a little rough water. But other than that, it handles well. Any big waves comes this way, it goes right in and right out from the scupper holes. So that's very, very easy. You know, it's never gonna hold, see, right there. There's some good swells, two to three feet, and it handles it really good. There you go. So this is how it goes when it's a choppy water. And of course, I'm taking all the boat traffic waves as well. So a couple cross waves, but it's been handling just fine. You just have to make sure you angle yourself perfectly when the boat waves come. 
you don't want to take it sideways. You want to go kind of front side like that. And that way he handles it just fine. Here you go. So regular swell mixed with the boat waves. Let's see how it does. See right there, pretty choppy. Here we go. In and out. In and out. Yep, just fine. So it's very nice, guys. The only thing I wish, I wish, the only thing when it's choppy, you know, really waves going on and you want to go a little bit faster, it slows you down. Obviously, when the wave comes up and down, the propeller is not turning well and with the current and the wind, it's just too slow. You know, top speed, you're getting around two to three miles an hour max, and that's pretty slow. So I'm hoping next, next generation, they're gonna come up with a little more powerful motor. I'm hoping for that, they'll be excellent. That way you could get away quick. Any kind of weather coming your way, you could just, you know, escape. So definitely, that's my wish list for the next generation. I need uh, much more speed on the next motor. I just want to show you also, I'm in the spot, North Jetty right now, by the rocks, throwing my wooden mullet, and I'm using the spotlight technology. The water's rough, like I said, two to three feet waves, swell coming, boat traffic, and it holds me, man, it holds me perfect. So right there, Spotlight technology working like a charm. All right, guys, on my honey hole croaker spot, I just got a croaker with the number one circle hook, split shot. So I'm gonna use my live bait rod and reel and I'm gonna toss it out there, man, hoping for some redfish or snook. Let's see what happens. Oh, here we go. That's all she wrote. Croker didn't produce anything. So he's gonna live another day. Thank you very much, my brother. I'll see you next time. Keep croaking. But that is it, guys. All in all, had a great time. I just love being on this kayak, man, alone. It's amazing experience. I'm almost there. Turn off the Garmin. Line it up. And here we go. That's it. We're done. <laughs> oh man. Guys, I had a blast. I hope you guys like this video as well. I want to do a little review, a little fishing, but next time I'm going to do fishing. I'm going to try. I just love playing with the new kayak. There's so much to learn, so much to do, but we got that nice ship set. That was not bad at all. It was unexpected, but I'm going to go back there again. But next time I'm going to definitely uh, catch my croakers earlier and then go for some snook and redfish and just free line it with the split shot. But thank for watching. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. I'm almost 1500. I want to hit 2000 before the year end. So please help me out. Hit that subscribe button. I'm going to bring you a lot more videos, especially with the Old Town Sportsman Autopilot 120. That's it. I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.